Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bill. I am an expat and I am a prepper living in the Philippines. Today's topic is going to cover the province versus the Metro Manila from my nine years of experience. You may hear some traffic in the background and you'll definitely hear some videoki because uh, unfortunately the resort I'm at right now they have videoki going in the background so we'll just have to deal with that. Now I'm going to get this first topic out of the way real quick. A lot of people want to know what's better, a, a gal from the province or a woman from the city? And I'm going to tell you right away that my experience is 17 years old. I've been married a long time, so I don't know where it's the best spot to find and look for the love of your life. But I can tell you what I've seen out here in the province is that the women out here are no longer as gullible, naive, and as um, innocent as you would be led to believe by a lot of people. There's still a lot of good women out here, obviously, and, and there's beautiful women out here, just like there are anywhere in the Philippines. But don't think that by coming to the province and looking for you know, a, a nice, innocent young woman, you're gonna find someone that's naive to what's going on in the world. Because honestly, they're not, right? Social media, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, they know what's going on, you know, and they take trips into Manila and they take trips around. So, you know, you're gonna find more professional women probably in Manila, to be honest with you. And a lot of the girls out here 17 years ago didn't afford school. So, you know, in 18, 19 years old, they didn't have anything to do. But most of these kids now are actually going to school, getting a secondary degree um, and, and trying to make a life for themselves. So if you're thinking that you're gonna have a better time looking for and finding uh, a woman in the Philippines in the province easier than in a, the Metro Manila and or Cebu, Dumaguete or any of these places, I honestly don't think you are. I think you're gonna have a better time meeting folks in the bigger cities and then vet them through your normal vetting process. Now, that out of the way, good luck in your hunting. Now, the main reason for this video is I wanted to talk about province life living versus city living. And before I get into that, let me take you a quick look here to see what the province looks like out here. Now, I'm only three hours outside of Manila, and I am most definitely out in the province. I just happen to be at a resort right now. But you can definitely see that uh, it's pretty rural out here. Now that is the main highway right there, so that's the noise you might hear. All right, so back on topic. Before I talk about prepping and the reasons why the province is actually better, let me talk about some positives and negatives um, for each type of person that might be coming out here to the Philippines. If you're under 50 and single and you're looking for a good time, um, yeah, for sure. You're going to want to hit the, the big cities. Dumaguete, where a lot of Westerns are. You're going to feel right at home. Um, Cebu City, Manila, parts of Manila like Makati, if, if you're on a budget. Um, they still have some very nice places to Airbnb. Um, BGC, if you got a little bit of money to spend and you want some more of that glamorous nightlife, is a great place too. I personally would avoid the spots like Angeles City. Uh, I've never been there. I'm just going off of the reputation I've heard. It's probably not the best spot for, for you to go unless you're just looking for the quickie. And to be honest, if you're just looking to hook up with a woman, you know, just go to Thailand, bar find a girl, and, and have fun. Philippines isn't quite as uh, known for that. I, I guess it is, but I've never experienced either or. Now, if you're an older guy, and you met a gal already, or you like the rural li lifestyle like I do, you want some quiet, sedate time, slow pace, clean air, extremely fresh vegetables and produce, then you're gonna wanna choose to live out in a province somewhere. I chose the province of Luzon, basically because my wife lives in this town I moved out to. If you've seen my other videos, you know that already. I've done some videos on the wet market out here and some of the other places. You know, go ahead and check them out. I recommend it. But uh, for me, even though I'm only 53, I still enjoy the province life, right? I semi-retired out here and I live just fine. Um, I got a great place, great, great neighbors, great place to live. Never had any problems out here at all. So 
you know, that works for me because I've been married 17 years, right? I got a Filipino already. I'm not out here, out here looking for one. But as a prepper, it is brilliant because first of all, I'm away from the big cities. So the pros of living out here is, you know, you have farms and you have produce and it's not as crowded. It is definitely a lot safer. Some of the negatives, the infrastructure might not be as fully developed in some of the provinces. Out here, it's actually really good. It's, it, it's uh, extremely well, de well developed. That's not the case for all provinces. So you're gonna have to make sure you, you, you got a good understanding of the place you're going to. Um, the advantages of a city when it comes to a prepper is you have better health care. Um, you do have a lot better emergency services. Depending on the type of disaster or crisis you're dealing with, you might prefer to be in a city where they have more resources available and uh, services like the police, fire, and everything. So that's something you have to consider as well on the type of prepper you might be. Now I'm a general generic prepper. Basically I just want to make sure I eat and have water and I'm secure. You know, I'm not looking for zombies, I'm not looking for wars. Um, famine is a concern of mine, but I'm out in a farming province, so that checks that box for me. But if you're thinking about moving and retiring to the Philippines, you're going to find the province life is also a lot nicer on your pocketbook, right? You'll find people out here over time. Now, this province out here is not near a beach. Doesn't mean you can't find a nice little provincial town that's on the coast if you like to look at the water, if you like to play in the ocean. There's a lot of places like that as well. But then as a prepper, I look at that as well. But then you got to deal with typhoons and tidal waves. So you got to look at, you know, where you're at in your preps and what kind of location you're really caring about. So it's not going to be a long video today. Um, I wish I could tell you all about the best spots out here for women, but I can't. I just don't have that experience anymore. And the women today are so much different than they were 20 years ago when I was, you know, single. You know, it's just a, a fact. There's a lot of other YouTubers out there that can give you all the advice you want to know um, in regards to um, hunting and finding single women out here. That's not my trip. Province life is the best life in my personal opinion. And I don't know how many times I have to keep beating this home to folks. But if you're trying to avoid the rat race of the U.S. and slow down and have a good quality end of your life, you know, the last 10, 15, 20 years, the province of the Philippines is where you want to be at. This is the absolute best lifestyle um, you can have. If you want to go out and do adventures and trips, well, just take a day trip, take a weekend, go do something fun. You know, it's not that hard to do. Travel is actually really inexpensive and it's easy to get around. But for everyday living, the province is absolutely the best. For everyday prepping, the province, again, is absolutely the best. But please, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know where I'm wrong or if you agree with me. I do like to interact with my subscribers and people just passing through and watching my content. If you like this kind of content, hit like. And if you haven't subscribed, but you're still watching all the way to the end of this video, I'd appreciate it if you give some of my other videos a chance. Maybe you'll find something that you like. And then maybe you'll subscribe. So until next time. Be all right, so as a bonus bit of footage to today's uh, filming, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's like to take a tricycle. So I am now leaving Wells Resort, which is a place I'm here quite a lot. It's where I have my Sunday brunch, and it's where I do a lot of things. Tricycle stand was right there. We were able to flag down a tricycle. Hello. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like to drive from here to my house. Stand by. right here is the Marcos Highway it's um, that's the Marcos Highway you can look it up but it goes it's the main route so that's why these towns sprung up along this highway out here
notice there's no stoplights out here, no stop signs. So when you're in the province, don't expect uh, anything but uh, chicken runs when you're trying to cross the freeway. Reminds me of that game as a kid. that the Philippines in general and the provinces are dirty and full of trash. Take a good look at this street, it's clean. There's some trash, but it's a very clean city here. They have a lot of services that take care of it. So don't think that you're gonna come out here and you're gonna find trash on the streets and everywhere. Maybe 20 years ago, but not today. People are getting a lot wiser to that and they're taking care of business. That was Ellen's mother, waving hello. Now I will tell you, my Dodge Ram 4x4 would not fit down these streets at all. It is just uh, not possible. We kind of took a shortcut through a little neighborhood here. But as you can see, there are dogs that run around. So when people tell you there's dogs loose in the Philippines, that is indeed a fact. Dogs and cats, both. There's our 1711. to the right this used to be the main market but they outgrew it so they put in a new market and we do have a river here as well 20 years ago kids used to swim in that river but it unfortunately sad to say it's just not the cleanest water in the world and even out here the hardy don't even want to swim in it no more just adding this video to the end of the uh, clip just so folks can see what it looks like a big elementary school here on the left a little bit of traffic for some unknown reason typically there's no traffic out here oh this guy's turning that's why all right guys so I'm back in my place so you can tell I'm only five minutes away from the resort, and that's why you know we go there a lot. Um, you can tell the drive is fine. You know, it's a dollar um, for the tricycle. I hope you enjoyed this bonus clip, and uh, smash that like. <laughs>